We've heard some about telomeres on this podcast, but I, I would love to hear about telomeres from you, their importance, what we can do to keep them long. And something I found interesting because I'm a coffee drinker, coffee, for example, shortens telomeres, but you recommend coffee for certain certain parts because of its health properties. Are there a, a lot of foods that might be good yeah. for lengthening our telomeres? Yeah. Well, 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 let me clarify something. Okay. Caffeine has been shown to shorten telomeres, telomeres being kind of like the little caps. Thanks like for the correction, not just coffee, at the, right? At the end of your DNA, your chromosomes. But it turns out that coffee overall, even coffee with caffeine, actually not only slows the burn, the shortening of your telomeres, but it can actually lengthen your telomere. So drinking coffee can actually slow down your cellular aging. All right. So coffee drinking is actually good. I actually drink quite a lot of coffee every day. And if you want to lose- Oh, I like you. I like this. Everyone that's a coffee drinker is very happy right now. And if you want a little tip, all right, I like the taste of dark roast, but it turns out that medium roast is actually the best way to get the most bioactives. The specific one is called chlorogenic acid. Um, that's C H L R L O R O G E N I C chlorogenic okay. acid. Okay. It's got the most chlorogenic acid. If you do dark roast, uh, the heat actually degrades some of it. You huh. still have it, but it will be a little bit less. Medium roast is just the right amount. And by the way, if you want the bean with the most chlorogenic acid, which also burns harmful body fat, by the way, mm-hmm. it can burn, improve your metabolism by burning that harmful body fat by drinking coffee. Okay. And also slowing aging. If you want the most potent bean, get organic coffee beans because chlorogenic acid is made naturally by the coffee plant as a response to injury. Now, when I say injury to the coffee plant, I'm just talking about bugs nibbling on the leaves and stem Uh of the coffee plant. So when you're, when it's grown more naturally in an organic setting without pesticides, the coffee is going to have normal, natural wildlife around it, little bugs nibbling on the leaves and stems, and it's going to respond by producing more chlorogenic acid. Organic beans have about 30% more chlorogenic acid, the stuff that slows Mm. cellular aging and improves your metabolism and starves cancer. There's a lot of great Ah. things for your body. And so that's one of the reasons to choose organic grown coffee, medium roast is sort of the technique. So, you know, like I'm a scientist and I do the, I'd like to do food as medicine, but I'm a foodie and I like to actually yeah. know what's the right way mm. to actually get the most. How do you prepare it the right way? Yeah, that is awesome information right there. 